So opponent's technically at 18 life, right? They're going to block the Jin because it's the highest. So we focus on these guys. They're going to go for 12. And per spell, I get an extra four. We're going to counter our own spell. No, we don't want him in a graveyard. We want him cast. So... There you go. Like, we're not even going to risk not finding something. We're just going to cast. We're just countering our own sh**. <laughs> oh, that was a good line, though. Like, that was a good line. Mentor's fun. It should be a good time, at least. It should be a good time. Esper know about matchups. Um, <laughs> I like the optimism. It's a good deck though. It's definitely tier one. These like sorcery speed play with fires are gift, man. Surely we don't lose some like some like this. I need to find a land soon or I am done here. I'm just assuming this deck doesn't give me shit, so it's like... I can cope better. At least we're finding sideboard cards. That's a treat. Start up with Jin because it's safer than a Swift Spear on two toughness. Let's say I have Lismetic Barrages, but. For them, I hope they do because they keep throwing away their play with fires, but. We'll see. Pain lands. You're killing me. Thank God for like the what four life gain that we had from Lookout Blow. Now, nah, see, Preacher isn't what's missing on that list, Viper. It's fucking Gix. Gix is the real like scary guy. Gix is the banger. All right, another mentor. Let's get it. This is looking better, though, right? Okay. Nah, it's true. Men trying to tokens with lifelink. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That'd be insane. Mentor angels. My favorite deck. Oh, 
Only... If I lose to this red aggro player, I'm gonna join a team that calls red aggro brain dead. I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm so serious. Like, with all respect, if I lose to this person on red aggro, I'm joining the gang of haters. I have to. I'll have to join. Like, I can't do it anymore. Like, there's no defending. There's no defending at that point. Also, I wonder why they're playing Epicure for Godric's. All right, Shuffler, hear me out. You were so nice just then with these knockout blows. Let's run it back. I have to give it a little pep talk, you know, like, let's run it back, bestie. No. <laughs> no, no, it's not hearing me. Oh my goodness, what the fuck is this? like me patronize <laughs> uh is it is it nuts is it nuts because if you whiff you know uh, also on the draw like on the draw it really depends on how aggressive the opponent gets not having a kumano on is already a good start though Just don't whip. I mean, the game is that easy. Like, <laughs> you're right. You're right. The game is that easy. The game is that easy. Ah, that's true. So yeah, like this is what I was afraid of. We haven't really done anything till their turn three. Just about like how bad things get on their end, you know. Monsters Rage. It's like nothing we can do to stop them now. Ugh, I should have. The mold, I think. Well, I guess we got a high roll here. Red seven life on turn three. So yeah, unfortunately. We whiffed. Positive note, we don't have a lot of pain lands. Negative note, we're already at six life. So, uh, positive note, opponent's not even bluffing, so that's good. not what I'm looking for. I mean, I'm holding in case Prankster, like, hits, um, Smite or Blow. I 
probably played his prankster out. Or is Ori's in reanimator? Yeah, we're not really reanimating shit. Target player! Thank you for the three gifties. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You got a 7-0 with cookies? Ayo, put that on Twitter. I need to cloud. <laughs> put it on Twitter. Put it on Twitter. We, we need we need the cloud. Give the cookies what they deserve. I wonder if it's possible for me to get them. No, because these have to get exiled, so that will always lower it. I do love an Elspeth Smite. No mentors? Yeah, no. It's just, uh, it's okay. We got gins. I'm thriving. I got a smite now, so. I'm doing me. Opponent also drew a lot of lands in a row, though. They were kind of fucked, too. What an interesting game of magic. What an interesting game of magic. We got there, though. All right. Let's keep the vibes going. Not always. Yeah, some late Kumanos as well for them. Is this some, uh, um, Golgari mitt? Cottage and Plains? Is it Tracks Up a Cottage? I don't remember that. You like the current runs when the, the current win rate better than like the Vex farmed? I'm down for either. There we go. I'm down for either. Why not both? Oh, that would take up a lot of space. It's like an absent mid-range deck, I think. Sure. I'm just gonna stick to hitting them with the um the prankster. They're just observing. You know what? I'm actually really not mad at that. That's actually pretty good. All right. We can even protect the Jin with March. Like this is kind of gas. We have a make disappear up still. I'm vibing. I wonder what the opponent is playing though. That's the weird part. What are they doing? Is there a hag on the way? Maybe. Mm -mm. Let's, uh, let's play this banger. We need it for speed. Long pause. Maybe this is like that, like a uh, kind of strange, like absent control act. Remember when people played that like three months ago or something? I think that was like a woe deck. Up you're still date gamer detected. Yeah, yeah. I really think they are that control deck, seriously.
Okay. That kid Rhett's right here. I need more blue. I mean, yeah, I do have blue here, but any blue. Free card draw. I can also play another gin. I'll do the other gin. I have march and disappear. So two two besties. They were roommates. <laughs> Kinda. And they were roommates. Mm -mm -mm. This is really an absent control deck. I'm not even playing. Hmm. So is there a way for me to maybe... win? I don't know. I'm a chart. Yeah, the poison gamers are hiding. Maybe they haven't figured it out yet. So opponent taps out completely here, huh? So Charter Course puts one in the grave. That's plus two. We can discard, march, and chart, or whatever. I'm just thinking, can we win here? Fuck, I hate doing math. So we're at seven right now. This is guaranteed plus two. This is a guaranteed plus four. I think we kind of got a high roll, but we can try. Um, that's 11. New gin. Another gin. No, <laughs> no, you can't sabotage each other. You can't do that. I think if we discard. We should definitely be good now, I think. Oh my god. I love math. I love it. It's my favorite thing. I see potential. <laughs> Attack for two. Nah, it's true. It's true. MKM Judith is at rectal, so. Well, there's one right answer, though. Eh, do I want this thing? I'm probably not right now. Well, it does help eventually for the mentor if I try to set that up. Okay. We're gonna prank him. We're gonna flank them or we freeze him <laughs> from behind. Let's see. Okay. I mean, well, March actually isn't too bad. Because, okay. Mm, depends on how things play out here, huh? Like, I could also grab chart and put Mentor in a grave and grab it with Helping Hand. But... I can also play Mentor out now, hope that they just remove it and not exile it, and then bring it back and hold up March. I probably like that better. Who knows? 
Wait, is this actually just like a land destruction deck? Bro. Well, I think target player. I think the second like murders that Carl of Matter comes out, that choice is made for us. Like the, the new like Simic counter spell coming out. But yeah, up until then, I've even seen people like experiment with um um the uh disturbed like counter spell creature in the sideboard. I don't know if that's good because it's you know a counter spell that you can play around and interact with, but you can also turn yeah, there's like a you, you should look it up. It's called disruptive. No, that's not what it's called. What's it called, guys? Um repulsive. Uh somebody help me out here. Repulsive mutation? I wanna say. I think that's what it's called. And did I have it right? My Fucking goldfish memory. Yeah, you see it? Like, that seems fucking solid for that deck. Two mana counter based on, like, how great the greatest power among creatures and also buff your shit up. I do love to see it. So that was an exile. Man, all right. I guess it was. Ooh, there's Jins in here. Wait, pause. All right, this is pretty nice. Nah, it's true. Like, you don't even have to counter a spell. You could also just give counters to an unblockable creature. Like, it seems fucking amazing. Here comes the Sunfall. I'm ready. I'm ready. They can try it. Well, they have to try it because if not, I'm uh, making moves towards lethal. You know? I'm making moves. She's moving. All right, I'll hit it with the axis one then. Hit the right one, right? That looked like I hit the wrong one for a second. <laughs> Got me a little nervous. Um, I'm lacking blue. Yeah, March on... Yeah, to avoid damage is good, but this thing is still phased out now, so if they actually have a board wipe, it's kind of like, eh, this one lives. Pick your poison. So I'm of the, like, convinced... Like, I'm convinced that pick your poison is just not... There's not a deck that wants pick your poison, because... Unlike modern or something like that, where every deck is, like, super low in, like, you know, mana... Um... I feel like in standard green decks, we'll just play something like Attracts Us Fall rather than anything because you don't really need to cast something at one and then have it potentially not hit what you need it to hit when you can also just like play an Attracts Us Fall and like guarantee yourself to remove a ley line. Like if I need to remove an artifact, if I need to remove a cauldron and my opponent's got a map token, pick your poison as a dead card. And like does that one mana difference is that one mana difference really that significant in standard? I don't think that's true. Dude got destroyed. Nah, sure did. <laughs> sure did. Like, they were playing absent control. Like, it's an old standard deck that never really did anything, but people were like on it for a second or so. Honestly, nothing feels better than tempo against control. Okay. Zero lands into one land. Honey, it's time for your daily sabotage. I'm, t I'm tempted to keep this, though. I think I will. Chart, of course, discarding Jin. I've seen it play the mess of one. I have 
I've seen a plate of mess of one. Give me that fucking land. Thank you. We're grateful. So this is going to be soldiers. Ooh, it's a mentor. Hold it. Let me shove that in the grave. The white mind splice. <laughs> Some like janky shit's happened. Being a fan of abs and aristocrats. Abs control sounds disgusting. I actually think there's there's a good potential for like a... Um, Okay, they could definitely make this appear me, huh? I think there's really good potential for like a solid Abzan like Legends deck with Trostani, the new Tomic, hell, maybe even a new Tesa. Like, I think there's some good shit going there. Delny, you know, doubling triggers. Like, maybe there's an Abzan Delny deck possible. I'm kind of like high on it. I think there's really good potential. All right, we got ourselves a Monastery Mentor. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to mix up cards on the battlefield to confuse other players, but Arena does that already. For face of hearts, <laughs> any chance it gets. Nah, that's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah, the Falcon case, I think it can go into the deck. I will have to experiment with it, but you know. Hmm. That's fine, like, I don't really care about that. Should I generate another token? Probably. Jin. Jin doesn't really do much for my board with mentors, but like, we see, I don't hate it. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. So this is like the classic side of this like mentor deck where you're drawing like all the creatures and none of the spells. You really just gotta like hit that right balance of like spells and creatures rather than all spells or all creatures. We gotta keep thriving. Can anyone counter or consider? Yeah. Me too, to be honest. Is that a bunny? Why are we getting oops? Is she whiff? You'll be fine, Dusty. Seven wins so far? No. No, I had one, four, one, one, three, one. I was playing cookies. I was going strong as fuck, and then Cookies got taken out by Cookies. But I'll try again later. Um, we had a 0-1 with um, Boros Convoke, which we don't speak about, so you didn't hear that from me. And now we're on... I think we're already on 2-0 with Mentor, so I need to update that. But obviously, uh, the Cookies will definitely get played more. Cookie on Cookie, violence. We never played Convoke, and we never did. Bone is so very nice for not attacking me with all their whole board. Like, Bestie, I'm grateful. They might have been afraid I had, like, removal or something. Convoke, barely know her. Nah, it's true. Wait, like, I don't know what Convoke is. Never heard of it. What is that Kiki Palmer meme? The old meme? I don't know who this man is. Be walking down the street, I wouldn't know a thing. So, hmm. 
I think we could win here. <laughs> I love how with this deck you're like, I think we can win. I can currently phase out like five creatures. So one, two, three, four, five. The opponent would have two blockers left. They would block the highest. Creature with which is Mantra and a token, I would still have three. Four. Oh, four, seven, ten plus this. I think March X3 wins. But I can also just exile chart. I don't need to save it. Yeah, I can also just I can just go for it. Oh, oh my god. Almost misclicked that one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can just discard this and then hit this. But I think it would also be a lethal already if you did Axis 5. I think that would have pushed exactly um 17, I think. Quick math? I don't know. More than that. Yeah, like it's more than that. It would have gone to like minus three anyway okay march plus mentor equals death yeah it's true we've been toying with one march in esper Ooh, sounds interesting too it's so sad to see like soldiers like fall from grace so hard the way it did, you know? Like... It's really weird. Okay. Also, fuck Harbin. Yeah, no, it's true. Like, I love the whole soldier deck, but fuck Harbin. Like, that's very real. <laughs> that's very real. They're all besties, but minus Harbin. Soldiers doesn't really care about, like, Sunfalls, though. Like, I truly think it's the fucking bet. <laughs> like, like, I'm really just blaming the bat for, like, removing a bunch of archetypes, to be honest. I really am. Blame the bat. Blame all the life gain. Also, like, soldiers had that, like, upside of going crazy with flyers, and now there's, like, a bunch of flyers in a meta. Gavin heard more than it helped, yeah. Which is crazy, like. That's crazy, but it's true. I mean, I could keep a Gonjo. I can actually technically put the gin on top, to be honest. I can just hard cast it. I don't need to like recommission it, I don't think. See, this is where you hold up the pain lands, stupid. Thank you. A lot of bad haters. See, like, I'm a bet lover, but I'm also a hater. Like, it's truly one of those cards where it's like. If it's played against me, I fucking hate it. But when I'm playing it, that's bestie right there. I kind of have to uh, do this now, else I lose my discount. Love the smell of a turn one siren and a turn two bat and a turn three gigs in the morning. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. Bestie on your side, worse on their side. Nah, it's so true. So true. If I'm playing Envil, like, that makes me cry. Well, Big Po, like, I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but it's like, it's the fact that the bat demands 
removal. Like, that's the fact that does it. Like, if you don't remove the bat, you'll always be a card down. And that's fucked up. Like, especially if I'm holding, like, my go for the throat for a shoulder or something. But my bat's got one of my, like, crucial cards under it. It's like, fuck my life. I kind of have to get rid of the bat. It's like... It's rough. I'll probably take this. The bat turns into it. Yeah, like the second you give you buff that bat up, like it's over. And the bat takes your removal as well. Yup, like <laughs> yup. Yup. If my bat steals a gopher to throw and have a cut down in my hand, like that the bat has to eat that cut down, or else you'll never find your gopher to throw back. It's like it's such a strategic the, the thing that I do really love about the bat though is that it's such a strategic card. It's very easy to make the wrong choice with that thing. Like, how many times do you see people, like, grab the wrong card with that? I have enough of these. Well, that's very true, Baltimore. Like, that's that's for me where Bat pushes it over the edge. And I also think why but, like Bat helps push soldiers out of the meta is because soldiers can play very tempo-y. And the Bat is just like, all right, I have knowledge of your whole hand now. So what are you going to try to do with this counter spell? Nothing. Like, <laughs> I'll play around it. I'll play shit cards till you're forced to play a counter spell. Then I'll play my threat. You know what I mean? It really hurts tempo decks to have your opponent know exactly what you're playing, and Bat just does that, like... It's crazy. It's really crazy, like, Bat's just an incredibly good creature. This is why I'm saying, like, we need Bowmaster. <laughs> This is why I'm saying, guys, we need uh, we need bowmasters and standard. That deals with the bat. <laughs> it would also be horrifying, but if y'all if you guys want to deal with the bat, like that's one way to do it. Ah, yes, excellent point. There you go. <laughs> you know what? Actually, like real talk though. Real talk. Where's my megaphone? Real, real talk. Oh, that's the trenches. Real talk. Real talk. This is why we need meat hook massacre and band. Anyways. Anyways, change.org, sign a petition, like... That's all I'm saying. Bring it back. Bring it back. It's true, it's true. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. Meter did nothing wrong. It's true, it's true. This opponent is so dead. I, I like you're brave. There we go. We do died for Shelly since. Yeah. It was just like at the time, like the meat hook ban had me so shocked because it happened like right after rotation. So it's like we already have decks that there's not even a meta established here. And you're gonna be banning shit. It's like give it some time. Yeah, mono black is good now, but it's like release a new set and other things will take over, you know? But they... People were actually, like, fucking tweaking over, like, thinking that Mono Black was way too broken. And obviously, Bootsy wanted to address it, so might as well get rid of, like, the oldest cart that, like, multiple Black decks are playing, which was... Hook. So... I don't know. I feel like I would be very happy if Hook got another chance, but I know a lot of people are fucking good riddance, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, this is... Enchantments. We're in like the spicy queue. Um... 
I could chart, I could consider. I'll probably start off with Slayer Hand. I guess I'll grab a land then. You saw nothing but wedding decks? Not nah, true. I always, I also personally always felt that Meat Hook Massacre helped a lot against Kiki Jiki. Like, I would just access to the board and like get rid of all Kikis. Part of me feels like, you know, maybe, maybe Kiki was there to like, or like Hook was there to keep Kiki in, in check. I don't know. Tough to say, obviously, because you look in, in the past, but it's like, Atali's favor. What the fuck do you mean? What the hell? Bruh, bruh, bruh. What is this? Well, but like, that is a genuine, like, genuinely is a problem. So it's like. You know. I mean, it isn't a, like, it's. It's not a card that needs to get banned or anything, but it's a very, very strong card, so it's... Yeah. Alright, so we swing in with Jin. I'm holding Get Lost, get rid of Kami. And then if they hit my, like, Jin with an Ossification, I can also bring him back with another Get Lost. So we're holding up three mana. This Get Lost art, yeah. Art that goes hard. Oh my god. There you go. Calyx? I need to get rid of this now then. That's really cool Calyx art. Love that one. Yeah, I actually quite like it, too. <laughs> At first, like, I had to get used to it a little bit, but I actually really like the planes. Now. Another one. This Jin is gonna take the game. Alright, so I'm gonna probably... Just gaze. Not a gaze in it. Oops, all get lost. I don't think I can get the 12 right now. I don't think I can. It's not possible, is it? I can like sleight of hand draw land bring it to nine. I don't think it's 12. Well, unless Considered gets rid of a spell. Well, but it's also hindsight because Gaze didn't hit a, a spell, right? All right, I need to do math quickly. Sleight of hand, grab a land. Uh, hold on, let me just take some game actions, I guess. So it brings it to 9. If I consider and put a land into the grave, that brings me to 11. There you go. Yeah, we could still get out of that. It only failed or like had a risk at failing because the surveils hit creatures rather than spells. 
I mean, I'm kind of vibing, but also not. Kind of am. I think you only get lethal if you whiff on a consider by hitting a gaze. Mm, math. Okay, look down, stonks increasing for a little bit. So I really like both, but I really need to hit my uh, my land drops. So naturally, I don't. Shit. All right. Well, worst case, I can set up a mentor then, but I really need to. <laughs> Oh shit, they hit restoration. <sighs> okay. So, this is not good. <laughs> um... I mean, yeah, it is. This is so rough. Like, what do I do? Like, I could remove Naturalist by myself time. I can also remove Calyx and have Temporary Lockdown clean up the rest. But I would take- I would go to two while doing that, so that's also not good. I think that's more play to win, though. I think it's more play to win. I don't know. Should have waited with that though. I'm stupid. That's fine. I go to one. See y'all on the other side. <laughs> oh shit. All right. We're. I'm feeling safe. Trample one, it's like I cry. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. I don't know, maybe I can hit something good here, but. That's at least like a high toughness creature, like I'm not mad. Counting my seconds though. I'm in awe every time I watch you. Your ability to play every damn deck at a high level is inspiring. Hey Ransom, Ashley's thank you for the father. four. It's just uh being a little bit of a no life, you know. Thank you. Stabilize challenge. No, I don't think I would attack. I need the toughness, right? Like, I can't do it.
Yeah, I mean, I need to prevent the opponent from going wide, which is what they're trying to do, attacking with this, uh... Is that a march? I mean, I have no other blue cards to exile, so that's kind of complicated. Haha. <laughs> One of this flooded and we are fucking grateful. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh my god, it's a hag. Wait. Hey girly. Okay, I can afford to play the hag without dying. The painlands are making me very anxious. They are. Oh my god. Arr, yeah, you want to swing in with that Kami, like, go ahead. Hack time. This could be the blowout that we need. Okay, so we're no longer death to pain lands. We get some free kills here. You take those. Okay. I think we're actually stabilizing. <laughs> Whoa, shit. I think we're actually stabilizing. Oh my goodness. So yeah, worst case we exile other really gays to like march for uh for two. Jesus, that's another hollowed haunting, though. And before they sunfall. They can try. I gotta march. I'm not scared. Try me, bestie. One is not zero. Now nah, it's true. Life's a resource, etc., etc. Now, here comes the, the, the ultimate blue-white mentor question. Can we win? If we do access three, we have to pay blue and one, get rid of other rolly gays, and then we have other rolly gays, right? I actually don't know how Arena wants me to cast this, though. Oh, I guess I'll start off with this other rolly gays. Then I cannot fill, right? Now I'm going to be real with you. I haven't done the math, I'm just assuming. I think my assumptions are probably right, but it's like, oh shit, clutch the fuck out of that one, guys. We take it though, like, that was incredible. 30 to 1, yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. That's Blue White Mentor, like, such an incredible deck. It's insane. All right, let's see if we can secure the 5 with Mentor. This hand is, like, the lands are fine. This needs to give us some good shit, though. Mm, I'm not mad. I love the opponent's name. Yeah, no, it's true. Oh god, is this what I think it is? Wee -woo. Wee -woo. I mean, it's not, um... It's not one of the, like... Hmm. I think we get it. Well, I don't think Atraxa is an easy one, for sure. Havoc Pigeon went to school with Phoenix Chicken. <laughs> sure did. The 
this is where stuff gets hard because when you play mentor out you obviously risk it getting like hit by ley lines so we're better off either charting or pick look prankster here we might just prankster first oh wait oh my god i wanted to guess this hold on i wasn't looking Yes, but I also need to protect Mentor from getting exiled, so it's we have to find like a, a right balance here. Trexa Domain doesn't play mountain, do they? Why don't I remember? I thought I just got it from Triumphs. Some versions? I thought they just got it from Triumphs. Hmm. Well. Right, so this is why we waited, right? They were armed with the binding and I was able to march them. But I can guess that fast enough. Like, now we just have to get a mentor army, not get sunfalled, and thrive. Blue March is a fucking cart and a half. Like, such a. Like, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I wish cookies worked as well with the blue march, but it just really doesn't, unfortunately. Big spear. You'd have to save me. <laughs> You're gonna have to save me. Okay, recommission brings back Jin. That could be nice. Mm. I want to make sure I order this right. I think this is fine. I mean, it's a bit greedy to go after recommission there, but gin discount, so I'm vibing. And I'm like needing gin here because, you know. I'm holding Mega Spear, so we'll see. If they try to get cute with the angel, I'll gaze them. They got cute with the angel. I wonder if this can do enough. So we grab helping hand. We bring back Jin. We discount our spells. And then 
somewhere math gets involved. Uh... <laughs> So opponent's technically at 18 life, right? They're going to block the gin because it's the highest. So we focus on these guys. They're going to go for 12. And per spell, I get an extra 4. So then... We're going to counter our own spell. No, we don't want him in a graveyard. We want him cast. So. There you go. Like, we're not even going to risk not finding something. We're just going to cast. We're just countering our own shit. <laughs> oh, that was a good line, though. Like, that was a good line. Len and we're off. Let's try it. Try to course, discard Jin, grab a helping hand vibe. Come on, baby. Shit. Upkeep oh, stop. I swear to god, I thought I put it up with salt, but anyways, we're good. I think I did it on my opponent's turn, so it counts as me. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I love this game. I want it on my turn. There you go. I really need to hit a land. Fuck. Oh my god, bless. I mean, thing is, I think I have to hit Jin because it discounts my march and all my spells. Jin, save us. Save us, bestie. We gotta march it. Yo, Ivy, think you're fine? Jin should be a fast cloak, yeah. Nah, that's fine. You can. That, that's. I'm cool with that. The fuck. Sure. Hmm. Play an invasion challenge. <laughs> Play an invasion. Yeah, like be nice, deck. Be nice. You gotta. You can't. We. You can't abandon us right now. We're so close. You can't. You can't do us dirty. I have a feeling they're gonna cast Leyline though. The gate's fine. Like once again, we don't care. Could be better. Okay, one gin. Cranko's Buzz Crusher. I don't know what matchup you'd want it in. Maybe like against Esper or something? I don't know. Gin and a prayer trying to get there. I think we did it. I think we fucking did it, Chad. Let's go. The hand kind of sucked. They had a bunch of counters. I never really see a track boarding counter spells. 
Repeat gang. <laughs> Everybody stay calm. Stay calm. We got 10 packs. Let's move on to 20. All the support is appreciated there still. Mm, right, right. Well, Twitch subs always appreciated. The YouTube videos are informative. Thank you. I put a lot of effort into them, so uh. All right, so is he to keep this from level five? I think it's probably keep this. We're just gonna grab the cards and look at the most stuff, probably. All right, highest chances of finding a land with otherworldly gaze. I'll put a stop here too, to be sure. I love this opponent's name. Soup smuggler, like absolutely fucking love that, as you should. Passing my silly turn. Looking for like land or putting a mentor in a grave. Truly, truly an excellent name. Soup smuggler, like. It's diff. I don't think I go far without lands. It's just a lot of gins right now. Just just a lot of gins. Evader looking for another land or like a reanimator, I guess. Another gin, like bro, no. I wonder what I'm up against, like Rackless Ramp or something? Try again. I'll play an army of gins. So there's a mentor in there. I'm just gonna shove in a grave. Two gins. Okay, looking at lethal in the air. Hottie Gin Squad roommates. I mean, that's fine. Come on, Jins, you got this. Always have some form of removal there. Just gotta make sure your clip decks are good though. Chart. Chart giving get lost. It's not what I'm looking for.
looking for like any reanimator. We're not really blame being in a Azorius reanimator deck here, I fear. Doing a bad job at that one. Alright, well, I do have a make this pier. It's not gonna work out though. Not against all their mana. Well, unless they're like being real greedy here with something, but. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Wait, that's weird. Uh... Okay. okay, so that's a helping hand. Okay, I know how to order this. So we're gonna do helping hand. Bring back. We could also do prep, like bring back mentor. Here we go. Then we're gonna target our own mentor with get lost. We create two tokens and we buff our gin twice because we have or once or whatever because we have make the spear on top. <laughs> Guys, I'm thriving. I'm thriving right now. <laughs> I'm thriving. Like mentor is giving me cards to work with. Honestly, I vibe, I think. Yeah. That's what I'm on right now. I'm ready to run a marathon. <laughs> I'm ready to go like More, more caffeine. All right, guys. I streamed last night. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Okay. So untap land to the top spine. Oh my God. Mentor. Wait. Vibes. Mm. So that brings back the mentor. Do I need this thing? I'm trying to figure out. I don't mind a Kendrick at some point if we're working with a lot of mentors. Yeah, so like we can reanimate this mentor now, but we can't take advantage of doing that. So I don't think you do anything here. It's true, but like, I don't think you do anything with it. They just like remove it and you get nothing. So it's like, what's to use? Just throwing away a mentor. So they grab helping hand here. Okay. The only card they can, I guess they could also grab destroy evil. It's like. See if I can find another a. I don't know what are we grabbing. Probably still helping hand because we can then fire off other holy gaze. Okay. Yeah, no, that's true. Like I said, the deck is giving us good cards. Like, we're the brain is working on like. A whole liter of caffeine so it's like two liters so we can pilot it okay focus in my lane flourishing moisturized creating monk tokens thriving god <laughs> wow okay mm. 
I could do like consider. Well, I I could get like lucky here. You know what I mean? Um. But also, like, do I care? Probably not. Like, if they're dead desperate. I'll just do like Jin here. Yeah, this is not bad. Like, if that's their best way to deal with a mentor, like just slamming a brotherhood's hand, like you go ahead, bestie. And okay. Jin, rip. So you can commit hard here. You could do mentor and helping hand. But like they just threw away. Abort wipe, so I'm like not feeling great about that one because they'll have another, you know. They're also missing land drops, I think. So I don't know. But they have the cursed mountain. Soup smuggler is the bestie. They don't have the cursed sleeves. They're not. What happened to my sleeves? Heh? Okay, anyway. Perhaps because the cursed sleeves are gone, we're drawing better. Who knows? Yeah, I was like, where are they? Like, I could do Helping Hand again, but there's no way they don't have another board wire or some shit like that. There's no way. They have to be really, like, really goofy to throw away. Uh... A Brother's End. So what I can do here... No, I don't have mana to do that. Passing a turn. Yeah, probably some stuff like that. They, If they are like the ramp deck or like, I don't even know. There's like a mixture of like ramp and um, mid range. Because if they're ramped, they have access to, like, infinite board wipes and shit, which is really bad. I well, probably would have boarded into him, though. Um... Men's have been doing a job. Hell yeah, we're 5-0 right now. Shana, where are you? Okay, iron crack. So they might just be actual ramp. Huh. No, no. We the we had a 3 and 1, which was cookies losing the cookie mirror. A four and one and um yeah a cursed thing that we don't speak of <laughs> i'm just with every play i make i'm trying to consider if my opponent hits me with a brotherhood's end can i survive it I think I just go in with this. We can use Otterworldly Gaze next turn to try and win the game if we need to. Cruelty of Gix. Reanimate Carnosaur. 
guess he's just relying on RNG. Like, that's the downside to this Rackles deck. It's like... It's a lot of RNG involved with these discovers. Wait, are you... I was like, are you looking at mine? Look at my grave... What are, what are you looking at my graveyard for, bestie? What do they hit? The rest. Okay. So, I'll remove the Carnosaur. And then grab whatever, I guess. Get the fuck out of here. That's fine. All right, so let's win this game. Here we go, y'all. Was that another consider? And then consider draws into... I mean, I... Um, what about chart drawing into consider? But it's the same. Here we go, guys. We're getting a good game. All right, let's go. 6-0. Okay, okay, okay. We're ready. We're ready to get in the big money, but... Final boss. Getting a little nervous. <laughs> Mentors mentoring. Nah, it's true. One more for the final prize. Let's get it. So we're lacking white mana. We have access to Mate's Pier. We started with a sleight of hand. This is a very, like, reactive hand, but I'm not mad at it. All right, it's a track saw. All right. Domain, final boss, that lines up. Okay. We're just passing our turns. Holding makes a spear for potential dino. We just have to get to a, a spot where we can play Jin and hold back March. I want to respect the turn four invasion, so I gotta hold make this appear. And we hit. I'm a tempo player, like we I, I can enjoy a good pass go moment. We're actually gonna do it like this in case of like we could get lost the binding if we needed to. So we're holding March. This gin needs to grow a little bit though. So Technically, if the opponent has Sunfall, then it's better to get lost this Leyline Binding. You know, but if they have like an Angel coming up... I think you play Get Lost. I think you play Get Lost. Okay. That's chart. Not really vibing with helping hand right now. We'll grab a prankster. I think I can afford to fire off and consider too. Don't need to land. 
Okay. Pass the turn. New binding drops. I get it would get lost again. Okay. So what is this, like a hurt migration or like a land cycle? Either way, I'm not going to risk uh, anything here. So I'm going to swing. Half their life total. Do it one more turn, y'all. Do it one more turn. Okay, looking good, looking good. That was sick, that was sick. Like one gin and a dream, like. Okay, okay, okay. This is not ideal, but it's not bad. Like, at least the lands are good. We don't have to worry about those. We can always discard a land with chart. Hmm. Don't want to get rid of Disdainful. Maybe Odawara. Like, my pranksters can do work for me. Alright, we just need to hit, like, we need to mill a creature and land the prankster and we vibe. That's it. It's that simple. It's that simple, y'all. I feel like they definitely have a binding. Come on. Get it done, prankster. Ugh. Mm, I mean, we grab make the spear, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, beans, not good, obviously, but... Yeah, they, they know we have Make the Spear, so I'll, like, try to play around it. Come on, mill a djinn and give me a reanimator. Mill the djinn, didn't give me shit, though. <sighs> Come on, deck, not right now. Oh my god, it really is leaving us hanging right now, y'all. We love this game. All of a sudden, like, fucking nearly half of our deck, we haven't drawn into a mentor or a djinn or a reanimator spell. It's like, this is feeling like sabotage. And now comes Angel. Oh god. Nah, I, I gotta stop that, you know, like... You stupid fucking dinosaur! Get the fuck out of here! I gotta stop that. Are they actually countering this? They are. Oh. <laughs> Besties. What a devastating end to the run, like... Half of the deck were just unable to find any of our key cards. No reanimator, no gin, no mentor. Fuck. And now it's like the opponent's like stabilized enough, right? To make the spears dead. It's still nothing. Ah, oh, that is so sad. I blame the 7 GB update. Yeah, me too. That's so sad. Like, that really fucking sucks. To just like low roll in like the last game, you know? <sighs> Shit. And I guess also like the game before that, like not finding a second land and 20 cards is also like a low roll. All 
All right, I'm done with this shit. I'm going to see if I can get one of these guys now. You still whiff. Like, where the fuck are the reanimator cards? Like, hello? Half of the deck, just half of the deck with four mentors, four helping hands, a recommission, two gins. Ain't no way. Really cursed. Fucking sucks. I mean, I got rid of that thing, I guess. Mm. Yeah, we quite literally drew the wrong half of the deck, yeah. I mean, the second we find a Jin, though, like, the graveyard's pretty packed, but also, like, they play Frillback, so it's like... They might exile our graveyard before we find our reanimators. <laughs> no jinx, but... There's a 2% chance to not get a reanimate in 30 cards. Yeah, I'm sure. That lines up. I think our best draw right now in the following order is like Mentor plus March or something. I'm gonna get a helping hand here. Not even like that big of a gin, but it's okay. Thick enough. If the opponent is drawing dead, like maybe. I don't know. Binding. Okay, so hear me out. We let this happen. They don't know we have another get lost. The bind, yeah, like, we'll let it go through. Like, let him hard gas for migration or something. I don't know. Yeah, we leave it until end step. You know, it's an attractor. So this guy is at 9, we'll go to 10. Mm. They go to my face. I'm gonna like go through. I got a 1. God, it's fucking me. <laughs> needs to happen now, gamers. It needs to happen now. Right, so we got... <sighs> I'm just thinking, like, do we gaze? Right now. I mean, I know I'm drawing consider, and I'm probably okay with that. Um, <laughs> ah, let me see. Let me see. Okay, that's really good. Okay. So, okay, so consider it's gonna draw on a slight, it's gonna draw on a chart. Hold on.
Oh, that's a gaze. Gaze digs deeper, I think. So that's 11, 12, 13. Thirteen, fourteen. Shit. Two creatures hit. You counter like picklock prankster, I guess. Either really gaze surveilling just when we mess because I'm ready for a flash from exile. To counter pick lock, go control. And then you hope they don't have a ley line binding, of course. Like, because that's what we're playing into now. All right, we have 16. God. We fucking. That's. Go! Gamers! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Holy shit! What a comeback though! Sheesh! Gaming! No binding! I was shocked! Like, ooh, we take it! Let's go! Let's go! <sighs> that was dark sided though! Like, the odds were stacked against us on that one! Queen. Ooh! Oh my god! First seven wins! We're gonna keep doing it! You know, we need more, but. What a game though, Jesus. I really think I misplayed at some point too with like casting the... the surveil thingy, but I don't know. Yo, Jesting for 10. Thank you, thank you. Day number one of the farm, successful so far. Like, that was nerve wracking though. Like, you know, you know what they say, like, it's not over till it's over.